Finally tonight, you've seen them on Antiques Roadshow. The people who swear Aunt Edna's vase or the painting they found is a treasure. It actually happens more often than you might think, including just recently in Milwaukee. Our report tonight from NBC's Kevin Tibbles. Your neighborhood Goodwill store is brimming with hand-me-downs and second-hand bargains and sometimes real treasure. So you're just poking around? Poking around. <laughs> That's about it. Karen Mallet was looking for a set of knives when something red and white and black leapt out at her. Okay. And I couldn't help but see it. She bought the painting, 12 bucks, and decided to investigate. Lo and behold, a Calder lithograph entitled Red Nose. Appraisers say replacement value is about $9,000. I love it. It's so much fun. You know, even if I could sell it for what it's worth, I'm not sure I would. I'm, I'm attached to it. I like it a lot. Goodwill's always on the lookout for treasures buried in the donations from some 79 million people in North America each year. This tie likely isn't one of them. In recent years, the Goodwill's own good work has profited greatly by finding diamonds in the rough. In 2008, a Goodwill in Eastern Maryland discovered a Parisian scene by Impressionist Edouard Léon Cortez. They auctioned it for $40,600. This Maynard Dixon painting was sold in Santa Rosa, California for $70,000. And in 2006, a donated Frank Watson Benson oil painting earned Goodwill just over $165,000. Where's it coming from? Family members don't know what they've got, says art dealer Bill DeLind, when cleaning out grandma's attic. As they've either passed on or moved into nursing homes, they have stuff to get rid of, and it's all of a sudden, oh, my goodness, let's just give it to Goodwill. As for Karen Mallet and her red nose, she'll keep it, but the $12 price tag on the back is the real masterpiece. Kevin Tibbles, NBC News, Milwaukee. Amazing.